Hey guys, I've gotten a lot of requests for exercises that volleyball players can do for their shoulders. So I've put together a few basics for you in a video. Um, you know, as volleyball players, because we're swinging so much, we tend to overbuild the muscles at the front of our shoulders. So to counteract injury and prevent injury, it's really important to build the muscles at the back of the shoulder and in the scapular region. So the video that I put together has four exercises that really focus on the back of the shoulder. Um, I do these every day before practice and when I go to the gym for weight training. So if you make these a regular part of your routine, it'll be really good for preventing any shoulder injury that you might experience playing volleyball. For external rotations, you're going to wrap a TheraBand around a pole or any other object, and your working arm is going to be the arm that is furthest from the pole. Holding the TheraBand, you're going to keep your elbow firmly against your side and open the lower part of your arm. Notice how for each repetition, I'm setting my shoulders down so that the majority of the work is happening at the back of the shoulder instead of the traps. So I want to set my shoulders down and open my arm. This back view shows the muscles that should be working. Notice that the elbow is staying firmly in place and it's the back of the shoulder that is doing the work. You want to do this 10 times per side. And an added um, progression is to hold the arm out for 10 to 15 seconds instead of moving in and out. For TheraBand rows, you're going to use a pole again, but you're going to use both ends of the TheraBand. Both arms will be working, and like before, you're going to set your shoulders down before every repetition and pull back with both arms. You're going to repeat this 10 to 15 times. This back view shows that the scapula are both being pinched together to really work those back muscles and both arms are moving at the same time. It's so important to make sure the shoulders are set before every repetition to use our back. The next exercise is called YTWs and this is because our arms are going to be in the shape of a Y then a T, then a W. The same principle applies as for the previous exercises in that we want to make sure our shoulders are set so that the majority of the work is done by the back of the shoulders and the scapula muscles. The thing about this exercise is that it's really easy to arch the back, so you really want to make sure that your core is engaged the entire time because we want to work our upper back and shoulders, not the lower back. This exercise is done five sets per letter, giving you a total of 15 repetitions. The final exercise in the video today is row overhead reach. You wanna move the TheraBand up a little higher on the pole to be almost at shoulder height. And for the majority of the exercise, you want your upper arm to be parallel with the ground. So you're going to pull back in a row, twist your arm up in a 90 degree angle, and then reach above your head. And you want to try to start this at 8 repetitions per side, using only back. I hope you found this helpful and that you'll start to incorporate these exercises as part of your regular routine.